Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to add and create your own CSS custom applications. So for this, you will first need to make sure your device has been set up as a W player. As you can see right here, my device has been set up as a W player. Now setting up your device as a W player has certain requirements. You have to make sure the Magic Info version you are using is version 8 at least because this is where the W player got its introduction. The other thing is, is that you have to make sure your device is on the latest firmware. Your device has to be a minimum S6 player or higher. And once you meet all those requirements, you also have to make sure you get the W player firmware. Now we can deliver this firmware to you for free. So in case you are interested in updating your S6 player or higher to a W player, feel free to reach out to us. So what can be achieved with the CSS application? I have already created one and I will show you what can be done. As you can see in this video, we got an animated image going from left to right and back to left again. This was done thanks to a coding we created as a CSS file and imported into Magic Info. So what did we do in order to achieve this? So we head over to content and you can open the web author. Select the W player of course, in case you're opening a new file. And this is the template that we have created already. Now you can see that this image isn't really the sharpest one. So what I will do is I will select it, click on the settings and enable the high resolution mode. And as you can see the image already becomes a lot sharper. So what we wanted to do is we wanted this little Magic Info logo hover over the image from left to right and back to left again. So what we have done is we created our own CSS coding. This can be done by adding the custom effect right here. So you can provide your custom effect with a name and the effect type you want it to have. So it can be a common effect and going in effect, a highlight effect or a going out effect. Right here you can start editing and fill in the CSS coding that you want to have or created already. So I will show you what the CSS looks like that we have created already. So what we have done is created a highlight effect, which will mean it's basically a constant effect of the image being constantly moving around the device. If we select the in effect, it would only happen for the image coming into the slide in this case. So that will mean it will happen every time this slide is represented. So for example, if you have two slides, this one and another screen, whenever the other screen has appeared and this content item is next in line, it will use the in effect again. With the highlight effect, you can get a constant animation. And for the out effect, it's the same as the in effect, but then vice versa, obviously. Now there are already default animations available right here. And if you hover to the far right, you can see the custom effect. Our animation name was left right. And if I open it, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, we selected the highlight effect because we want to have the image floating around constantly. These are the coding that we have created. And all we had to do left was save it. And you do see a small preview on the right hand side. So these are the possibilities in terms of adding your own CSS application. So for as well the in effect, the highlight effect, as the going out effect, on the very right hand side you can add your custom effect. As you can see. So this can be done actually for every type of content items that you have. So we now have an image on top of an image, but it also can be the clock for example that you have on top of your image. So with this there are various ways of achieving this, all thanks to the W player, which was released from Magic Info version 8. Now in case you have any other questions regarding the W player, regarding your CSS documentation, your application or your custom effects, feel free to reach out to us and we're more than happy to help you and think along in your digital science project. Thanks for watching.